Hey guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to model this cool looking window. Well, the window isn't all that cool, but these louvers that are going over it are going to be quite cool. And they're actually going to be parametric, so you'll, you will be able to set, set them up in either a closed or half opened or fully opened position. And I think it's very cool to place it on a facade, especially if you have kind of a... a, a a concrete facade maybe with wooden accents or even a full wooden facade it, it looks quite cool but before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day okay so let's get started I'm going to be using creating this as a family so I'm just going to go here to a new family I'm going to draw back a folder to go to metric because in my country we use metric and here I'm just going to choose this metric window family just the blank family and when we open this up if I go here into 3d you can see we have this window over here window opening and if I go here to the exterior elevation we have some some parameters so here we have the default cell height and the actual height of the window and you can actually change the width as well so I'm just going to open up this type family types dialog and here I'm just going to change the cell height the default cell height to 400 millimeters which is low so I, I like a low cell height and for the height of the window I'm going to change this to 2200 so this will be a 2.2 meter high window and for the width let's put it at 1600 so it's wide enough and if I just hit here OK now we have a big enough window for our for our window family and for our louvers later on so now let's just finish off this window first before we get into the louvers so first I'm just going to go to extrusion make sure to take the rectangle create it like so give it an offset 40 millimeters create another rectangle inside of that go finish go to floor plan lock it in place over here just to make sure that it changes with the when the thickness of the wall changes the this window sh thickness should change as well that's that's very important then go to the exterior again and here just go create extrusion again and then just a rectangular extrusion like so and then again offset of 50 let's do and create another extrusion in the middle so this is the the window opening part so just go to reference plane and let's bring this into the center line kinda like that okay so once we have this we can now just go join geometry so join this and this and then select the whole thing or select both of them and change their material to some wood material so I'm just going to type in here wood and then let's choose this ash wood load it in go apply OK so if I go into 3d this is what we have and let's just add the glass to finish this part of the window family so just go create extrusion rectangle so this one's the simplest just go finish go into reference level and then just pull this in here pull this in here and there you go so we have our glass and let's just change the material to glass so choose glass okay okay so we've got our window done and now it's time to create the actual louvers and to make the whole family parametric so to create the louvers we need to create a new in place family this will be a, just a generic family so just go file new family and then drop back a folder again to use metric and if you're using imperial you would just choose imperial and here I'm just going to go with the metric generic model so this is what I'm going to use and here I'm just going to go to front elevation and let's create a reference plane so just go reference plane place one reference plane here and two vertical ones like so and once you have them now set the dimensions this will be 200 and this will be 200 as well so as you probably remember our window th uh, width is 1600 that means the quarter of that will be 40 so that's why I have here between these two and lines 40 and for the height we have 2200 so let's type that in okay so now we have the actual dimension of the cor corner quarter of our window I I'm having trouble pronouncing that but anyway so just go to reference plane and let's create a 
one of the louver vertical elements so I'm going to just create it like so and then change the dimensions this should be let's do this at 25 millimeters and just go finish add the material so it will be a wood material as well do the same ash wood just to keep everything in the same color and now go to the front elevation make sure to extend it all the way up to this reference plane and just lock it in place over here do the same thing down here lock it in place okay so you're finished with this then go to reference plane select it and go to array so we, because we need more of these so just go array select it make sure to select here a last and let's do an array of nine so just select that select this point extend it all the way to the other side and there you go so if we go into 3d this is what we have but these vertical elements can't really stand like that all, all on their own we need to add some horizontal elements that keep them in place so go back into the front elevation go create extrusion create an extrusion like this let's put the height at 50 yeah I think this is okay and okay just go finish and now let's go to reference level and we can't see it okay ceiling level can't see it as well okay let's go to left elevation and here we can see it okay so just change this to kind of like that and make sure this is minus let's do minus 10 to make it the equal number as this so it's kind of the same the same size lumber when they're creating it okay then you select it and you create another array so just go array of four or you can go even five if you want but I, I think four will work and then just select this one here and drag it all the way down to the end point and place it here so we have these four elements and if we go into 3d yeah there we go and if I just go here to realistic you can see these vertical elements are made of wood and these horizontal are not so I'm just going to select this this part and as you can see now it's grouped because it's an array so we need to go to edit group select it and then change the material to ash go ok finish and now all of them changed because it's an array so this one is only getting this one is only getting copied now we load this into our project so we load it in spin it around to the other side and just place it like like so over here and then just use the align tool to align it to this side so once you have this you just copy it once over here and then you select all of them and you mirror it around to here okay so once we have these louvers in front let's go to the exterior and as you can see they're kinda dangling down so let's just move them up to this point over here yeah they look good now and if we go into 3d yeah this is what that looks like and now let's just select all of them and we need to make them disappear because we need to have them in closed half open and open so this is closed so just go here to the visibility in the properties panel for this family open up this associate with parameter option and add a new parameter so just go here and new parameter and let's call this one closed because they are closed in this in this in this setup let's just call it like that and go okay okay so we have our closed parameter and if I open up here the family types dialog you can actually see this closed uh, cl closed uh, parameter and you can check it and uncheck it now if I uncheck it and click apply you they're still here but when you load it into the project they won't be that's just thing with Revit how it works so if I just go here to reference level and go create similar and maybe let's place it over here let's check the height for quickly just go exterior let's go to left yeah as you can see it's all the way down here so let's just move it up so move it up here okay go back to reference level and now let's rotate it and I'm just going to rotate it by 45 degrees like so and then let's just place it over here so I just want this part over here and I didn't do that okay so we have this and then just go DM for draw mirror mirror it around this axis select this go MM for mirror mirror it to the other side and now we have this half open position now you select 
two of these and two of these and you just go here to the visibility new parameter create a new parameter and let's just call this half open and save it go OK OK open up this and let's just uncheck that as well go apply OK then select one of these or maybe one of these and let's just copy them now so we keep them at the same height and let's just rotate this by fully 90 degrees and let's just place it over here and place it like so okay so we have this element and let's just do mm for mirror mirror to the other side and select these two and go mm mirror them to the other side so we have all four open and then select all four of these and again okay because we copied them it already has a parameter but don't worry we can create a new parameter and let's just call this one open go okay okay and now these are open and now if I go here and check the parameter so we have open have closed closed and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new this new type for this family and let's just call this open hit OK check open hit apply then I'm just going to create a new one and hit closed or call it closed uncheck open check closed and hit apply and the final one is yeah half open hit OK uncheck closed check half open hit apply OK and we're done with this family believe it or not and let's just load it into the project so just create a new project architectural template OK create a wall over here kind of like that go into 3d or let's go to the south elevation perhaps and let's load this component so let's just go to nope let's okay here's our window do we have a 3d for the window Nope. let's go into 3d yeah so this is our window let's load it into the project project one okay and let's let's yeah let's place it so place one here one next to it and one next to that one go into 3d so we have here in the open position and then we can switch this one maybe to closed and this one maybe to half open and there you go so we have our parametric window family and if I hit double R and render maybe we can see it better how this window looks like okay this is quite cool I'm quite happy with this okay that's pretty much it for this tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials make sure to leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day